All right. Well, hi folks. Uh, I'm gonna uh, do a quick review and also a little instructional thing on the Eberly Stock butt bucket uh, or bow bucket, however you wanna refer to that. Um, there seems to be a lot of confusion on this because I ended up uh, buying this and kind of having to figure this out. There was not any instructions with this, how to put this on. Um, I couldn't find anything on Everly Stock's website, but I like the idea of, of what it was supposed to do. So anyhow, the, I, I couldn't find any good videos on this, so I'm making one. But, um, you know, the bow just rests in here. But all you do, so you've got this, this, this molly webbing down here. So this part, I think, you know, is pretty, pretty easy for, for most folks to get, uh, myself included even. So you just grab these, uh, these straps and you go through the, the molly webbing. Okay. So the straps just go through the molly webbing. And then you, you want to get it so obviously that there's not, I'm going to tighten this one up a little bit so they're even. Okay. All right, so now that's what the bow fits into, where the confusion lies, because that's pretty easy, right? You just use the webbing on the bottom and, and go from there. So the bow just fits right into there, okay? Now, some people, I read, I was looking over uh, some things about forums and whatnot, and they, these guys were like, oh, it's not worth it, it doesn't work, it doesn't hold the bow securely. I don't think anybody's attaching this thing right, because actually I found this to be a very secure attachment um, and also very slick for getting the bow, getting quick access to the bow. So right here, there's this, uh, on the front, this, this, I don't know, it's like a kind of a rubberized material, but it says Everly stock on it. And so this, you can see, has its own, you know, it's just going to create a loop and that's going to go around that. So I just go right into that Everly stock deal there, and then I just hook that up. Now this then can go through this, uh, there's more molly webbing right here. So I'm just gonna take this, feed that right through the webbing. Okay, and then another thing that people complained about was they were somehow these, I, again, I don't know how everybody's doing this or how everybody was attaching it. I mean, it is kind of something to figure out, but if I can get this through here now, the buckle's just a little, that's the toughest part to get through the webbing, but it'll come. Okay, so, and I like doing that because then that gives it an extra attachment point. So then this just goes around and you can see it's going to clip right into here, okay? So this, the, the I don't want to call this the loop, clips right to where Everly stock is worded on the shoulder strap. And then it goes right through here, right around the bow on the limbs. Now, I probably don't have this quite adjusted quite right, but we'll see once it goes up. Oh, sorry, my flop, my, these are not, my compression straps aren't put around the pack. They should be, uh, they shouldn't be flopping around. But see, now if you look, I've got a very, so I could tighten that up a little bit more, but that bow is not going anywhere. I mean, that's a very secure connection. Now, when I need to get to my bow, I could reach back like this, grab the bow, and then just, and I'm out with the bow. So if I've got that strapped in, and that's what a lot of guys were doing just in frustration, they just strapped the bow to their pack. I can't get at that thing very easily. So if I'm hiking and all of a sudden I see an animal over there, I'm gonna have to you know, get the pack off and then undo the compression straps. But this, this is very smooth. Now, getting it back in, you're gonna to have to take the pack off. I mean, I can't see, or your hunting partner can put that in there. Um, 
just uh, if, if you're with somebody uh, out there in the mountains. But uh, if you're solo, obviously you're just going to take the pack off again and then But, you know, it's just, again, you know, I guess you could put either top cam or bottom cam down. I choose to do it this way. But then I just uh, get this here around this top limb. And right there. And there it is. So it's that easy to get back up again. And so again, if I want to get my bow, I can either reach like this, or if I pull it forward a little, I can go like this. And then I just hit that clip, okay? And then I got my bow. So I, I, just, I just like being able to carry things back there and then have quick access, especially to my weapon. So that's my uh, review of the butt bucket. I like it. And uh, and I, I think uh, I wish Everly Stock had made it uh, simpler by providing some instructions on the website, but nonetheless, it works well.